everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, have another amazing design by Steve Good. I've already got my pattern printed out to full size and attached to my material with clear packing tape. The material for this project is two pieces of quarter inch plywood. You only need one, but I will stack cut and make two at one time like I usually do. The pattern is some tropical fish, and I picked this project and this design to celebrate the beginning of summer 2021. The first day of summer was this past week, last weekend, and I know a lot of people like it, some don't, some prefer the winter. My favorite season is summer, next to autumn. I know a lot of people now are getting ready to go camping, they're planning cookouts, they're planning get-togethers, they're going to the beach, having a good time down there, going to the mountains if that's your preference. I'm kind of in the middle of North Carolina, so I have my choice, mountains or beach, and being a pirate. I'm pointing my vehicle south and going to the beach. I will go a little bit later on in the year, hopefully. But this design just really encapsulates that, especially if you're a fishing type person. So really, really awesome. It's a tropical fish design. I now have a tropical fish tank that I'll be showing you guys later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. But really, really awesome design. Again, I'm going to stack cut and make two at one time. You got two fish. You got a seashell down here. You got coral here, coral here, or seaweed. And the round design that Steve offers kind of gives you the impression that you're looking through a porthole on a ship or on a cruise ship or something like that. I know cruises are starting to open back up as well. But right now, since the material is prepared, we're going to head over to the drill press and drill all the potholes so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we're going to begin by drilling all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And then we are going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I'm using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades. And for anyone curious, my speed is between a five and six, and the tension is a 3.5 on the blade. Beginning with some of the smaller interior cuts and working my way to the bigger cuts. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com over in his free pattern catalog. Just taking my time and letting the blade do the work. But real, real awesome design by Steve Good. I've really started getting into fish and learning about tropical fish aquariums and everything and recently got my first aquarium which is a small five gallon tank and I'll show that to you guys later on in this video. Doing the final internal cut here and then we will begin to release the scroll work from the wood by doing the final outside cut. Just following the perimeter of the pattern line. And now we'll go over to the workbench and remove the pattern from the wood. And I'll use my little washer technique to add a perfect eighth inch border all the way around to make both backer boards at one time. And we're finishing one project in this video. I'll have another one to finish later. And using the same number five reverse tooth blade we're gonna cut out the backer board if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at artisan pirate I'd really appreciate the support I used the same number five blade to cut everything out I didn't break a blade And just took my time and let the blade do the work. Now over here at sanding with the palm sander we'll use 100 grit sandpaper to sand the front and back of both pieces and I will get blue spray paint to spray the backer board and I gave it a few coats and let it dry 
and then it was time to glue the pieces together and I used Gorilla Wood Glue and spring clamps and a few strips of wood to glue everything together and once I get all the clamps on this I will show you guys my little five gallon fish tank just a small setup now but I'm already eager to go to a bigger tank and a bigger aquarium and then after this dries we'll come back and remove the clamps and add a few coats of clear gloss spray lacquer and let that dry and the project is complete And here we have the completed tropical fish piece. It came out amazing. The number five reverse tooth blades done nice work with the material. There was minimal chip out and all of the cuts are nice and crisp. You can easily distinguish both of the fish, the seaweed, the coral, and the seashell at the bottom. And then the darker blue that we done the backboard really makes the lighter natural wood of the front layer pop and really gives it character and also some dimension with the two different layers of wood so really really awesome thank you Steve Good for another amazing design thank you buddy for all you do for the scroll saw and woodworking community we all appreciate it man had fun making this it took me around 30 minutes to do all of the initial scroll work but then we had to sand we had to paint we had to glue and we had to clear coat and all that required weights in between everything so all in all you have a good few hours or maybe even four hours work in a piece like this and remember I have another one set to the side because we stack cut it to finish how I see fit so really really awesome I had fun making this and I hope you guys enjoyed visiting my fish friends I'm already excited to go to a bigger tank maybe a 10 15 or even 20 gallon tank where I can get some more fish friends I can do more decorating and just learn more about the aquatic culture and life and marine life of fish and all but really really happy I had fun making this and I hope you guys like watching me make it. That's about all for this video. Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. Please continue to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like and share my videos. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.